Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to set up your drone to fly smoothly for interior drone tours. One of the hardest things to do when doing an interior drone tour is to keep your drone from bobbing up and down. It almost looks as if a bunny is running through the interior of whatever space you are flying. And also maintaining smooth controlled motion throughout your flight is another difficulty. Now, there are two aspects to this. One, the way you fly, and two, the settings of your drone in beta flight. So go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. First things first, the way you fly. You should should not control the speed of your drone with your throttle. And I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you wanna control the speed of your drone with your pitch. Let me explain. If you're controlling the speed of your drone with the throttle, it will give it this bouncing effect since you are only telling your drone how fast to spin the motors. The problem with this bouncing effect is that if you are using a program like Gyroflow to stabilize your footage, it can't stabilize that bounce out of it. However, if you use your pitch to control your speed, that is one of the axes that the Gyroflow can control. And so it may feel like you're tipping your camera too much in the goggles, but your software can compensate for that since you are moving one of the proper axes. That may sound confusing to you, but let me show you. So I'll show you with this camera. If I fly using my throttle to control my drone, then the framing is changing, bouncing up and down. But if I use my pitch, the drone is moving within a margin of error that the software can correct for it. So this or this. And one of the ways that helps you with that pitch control is actually flying in angle mode because your drone naturally wants to slow itself down with the pitch. So the first thing is learning how to train your brain properly to fly in order to give your drone the best chance at smooth footage. The other thing that you want to do is to tune your drone in beta flight. Now listen, I am no beta flight expert. This is just how I have found to tune my drone. Beta flight has way more tools than what I use and can be super intimidating, but this should help you to get where you need to go. The process that I go through when getting a brand new drone is hooking everything up and getting it ready to fly and then taking it outside over grass to test how the drone feels. One of the things that I'm looking at is my rates and where the throttle on my controller is at when I reach the hover point on my drone. After that first test flight, I will take my drone back into beta flight and set my throttle to where my hover point is exactly at 50% on my controller. This can take a few tries to get it right, but then I'll set my throttle expo based on how much movement I wanna be able to have in my sticks before the throttle kicks in so that I can make fine adjustments whenever I fly. After I get my throttle where I want it, then I'll start working on my rates. For indoor drone tours, I don't want my rates to be super high. I don't want any quick jerking movements in my footage since these drone tours are supposed to be cinematic. So I will normally do lower rates than what I have on my freestyle quads, but honestly, it depends on how you prefer to fly. Then once I get my rates, I make sure that angle mode is set up on my drone and I will make adjustments to the angle mode as I see fit. One of the things that I see a lot of people doing is scaling down their throttle limit from 100 to about 80 or even 70 in order to make their throttle throttle the smoothest. Personally, I keep my throttle at 100% because I fly my drones inside and outside and I want to be able to use the full range of motion, but this is a good way to kind of limit and make your drone a little bit smoother. Once I have my drone fully set up to where I'm comfortable flying it, then I will start testing it inside, getting my camera angle adjusted to where I'm flying at a comfortable speed and making sure all of my settings are tuned to my liking. One of the things that I do when testing indoors is routinely putting the footage I am recording through Gyroflow to make sure it looks as smooth as possible. If my footage looks hoppy, then I know that I need to work on using more pitch to slow down my drone instead of using throttle. If my turns look like they are too fast, then I either need to slow down my rates or I need to be mindful of that when I'm flying. Once you have everything set comfortably and you feel confident, it's time to go out and fly some FPV drone tours. If you have enjoyed this video and other videos that I've created, please give this video a like and consider subscribing. If you're really enjoying the content, I've been putting out, please support me on Patreon as all of this channel is completely self-funded. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one.